Good day students! Last time, tinuro ko kung paano mag-solve ng word problem involving Venn diagram na kung saan merong dalawang circles. So kung di nyo pa napapanood yun, pakicheck na lang sa description box yung link. Mahalaga na mapanood nyo muna yun bago kayo mag-proceed sa video na ito. This time, bilang pagpapatuloy, ituturo ko naman kung paano mag-solve ng word problems na kung saan mayroong three circles. Simulan na natin. Okay, so ito na yung next example natin. Actually, students, my dear students, masaya itong uh, topic na to about solving problems na gumagamit ng Venn diagram. Kasi para talagang napipiga yung utak natin. Para sa puzzle lang. Hindi ka mo kinakailangan mag-compute ng masyadong malaking numbers. Simula na natin. So, ano yung difference nito sa una example natin? This time, meron tayong tatlong subsets. So, basahin natin yung problem. Using the given Venn diagram, answer the following questions. Take note on this. Let set J be the set of students who choose eating in Jollibee. Set M be the set of students who choose eating in McDonald's. And set K be the set of students who choose eating in KFC. Write your answers before the number. Okay, so discuss muna natin. Again, in the figure, ito yung nag-represent na universal set. So, ano yung nag-represent ng students na pumili ng Jollibee? So, ito yun. Okay, good. What about those students na pumili ng KFC? Okay. What about those students na pumili ng McDonald's? Okay. So, maliwanag yun. Pumunta na tayo ngayon sa mga problems. So, first question. How many chose McDonald's? So, again, we have to add all the cardinalities inside the region that represents the question. Now, in this case, how many chose McDonald's? It represents... Okay, good. It represents set M. So, let us now add the cardinalities inside set M. So, para masabilis, i-add nyo yung mga numbers na magsasum ng 10. So, 8 plus 2, that is 10. Plus 9, that is 19. Plus 7, that is 26. So, i-block na lang natin para mabilis. Okay, next question. How many chose Jollibee only? So, look at the figure. So, alam naman natin that the only region na Jollibee lang at hindi kasama ang KFC at McDonald's ay ang region na to. So, the answer is obviously 12. Okay, next. How many chose KFC and McDonald's? That question represents intersection. So, you have to look for the region that represents the intersection of set K and set M. So, let us, let us shade that region. Okay. So, this is the intersection of set M and set K. So, adding the two cardinalities, the answer is 9. Okay, next question. How many chose Jollibee but not KFC? So, the set operation that represents that question is of a difference or minus. So, we have to shade first those who chose Jollibee. 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 But, according to the question, but not KFC. So, we have to remove all the regions that you can also found in KFC. So, removing the two regions, we have 12 and 8. 
So, 12 plus 8, the answer is 20. Okay, next. How many chose Jollibee or KFC but not McDonald's? So, medyo mahirap na tong question na to. Why? So, we have here two set operations. So, para wag kayo malito, unahin nyo muna yung Jollibee or KFC. So, that Jollibee or KFC represents the union of J and K. Ayan. But according to the uh, question, but not McDonald's. So we have to remove now all the regions na inside kay circle M. So remove this, this, and this. So anong may E1? Okay, 12 and 3. So if we're going to other 2, the answer will be okay, 15. Okay, next question. How many chose McDonald's and KFC but not Jollibee? Again, we have here two set operations. So we have here intersection and minus. So the first thing that you have uh, to shape is the intersection of McDonald's and KFC. So the intersection of McDonald's and KFC Okay, is this region. But according to the problem, but not Jollibee. So we have to remove now the region na nakay Jollibee din. So we have to remove this. Okay, the answer is obviously 2. Okay, next question. Ay, number 7. How many chose Jollibee, KFC, and McDonald's? So, syempre, napakadali ng question na to. So, anong region dyan yung pasok kay circle J, pasok kay M, tsaka pasok kay circle K? Okay, napaka-obvious. It is the innermost. So, the answer is okay, good. 7. Okay, next question. How many did not choose any of the three? So that is like uh, the set operation that will represent that is okay, complement of the union of J, M, and K. O, sa madaling sabi, ano yung region na wala sa loob ni J, ni M, at ni K? At yun ay simply this region. So, anong cardinality yung makikita mo dyan? That is 5. Okay, next. How many chose exactly one fast food? So, medyo confusing kung tanong na to. Because when we say exactly one, isa lang yung pinili nila. So, ano kaya yung regions ng Venn diagram ang nag-represent nun? Yun ay ang mga sumusunod. Yung pumili na Jollibee only, pumili ng KFC only, kasi at yung pumili ng McDonald's only. So, adding all this, so we have 12 plus 3, that is 15, plus 9 is 24. So, medyo madali talaga magsagot ng problem kapag given yung Venn diagram. So, yung susunod natin two examples, kayo na mismo o tayo na mismo yung mag-drawing ng Venn diagram which is a lot harder dito sa previous example natin. So, let's have the last question. So, napakadali niyan. How many respondents are there in the survey? That simply represents the universal set. So, I think I don't need to shade anymore. We simply add all the numbers there. Masabi ko nga, hanggat maaari, yung magsasum ng 20. Pero, it's up to you kung saan kayo mas komportable. So, first, 5. Plus 3, then 8. Plus 2, 10. Plus 9, 19. Plus 7, 26. Plus 8, 
34 plus 12, 46, and plus 0, still 46. So the answer in the last one is simply 46. So again, for the next problem that we discuss natin, wala nang given na Venn diagram. Then na mismo ang mag-drawing ng Venn diagram. Hanggang dito na lang muna ulit. Sa next video natin, ituturo ko naman kung paano mag-solve ng word problems involving Venn diagram na kung saan walang given na Venn diagram. I-post ko na lang yung link sa description box.